there and welcome to Fairland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I'm going to share what I eat in a day. Now it's different every single day but I just thought it would be really nice to get different ideas of recipes that you could make. So I'm going to start off this morning with some Ayurvedic tea and all the recipes I share in this video they'll be linked down below. So this is cumin, coriander, fennel seeds, some ginger and turmeric, some cinnamon. You boil it up for 15 minutes, strain it through and then keep it in a flask so that you can sip it throughout the day and it's really good for your digestion. And Ayurveda is all about a healthy digestion. You've probably heard it, happy gut, happy body and mind. So I try and do this as much as I can every day. And for breakfast this morning, I'm having some quinoa porridge. So it might seem a bit odd, but it's absolutely delicious. I got the recipe from Sweet Potato Soul. You cook up the quinoa, which is completely gluten free. It's not even a grain. And while I'm waiting for the quinoa to cook, I'm going to just take the skins off the almonds. So I soak almonds and at the moment raisins. And again, when you soak things like nuts, it makes them far easier to digest. And you want everything to be easy to digest because the easier it is to digest, the more nutrition we're getting from everything that we're eating. So the quinoa only takes about 10 minutes. And then what you do is you pop it into a blender and you add things like some milk of choice, some sweetener, cinnamon, any warming spices that you enjoy. And by mixing it all together, it gives this consistency of semolina. And then you just heat it up for another few minutes just to make sure it's nice and warm. So for anyone who likes semolina, this is one for you and I just add on whatever I want on top. I'm loving having the almonds and the raisins at the moment and then some elderberry syrup. And before I used to put a lot on top of my porridge but according to Ayurveda it's really important not to overload the digestion. So I'm trying to remember just keep a little bit more simple. So I'll always have a snack during the day, either something sweet that's also nutritious. I'm not always making something every day, but I just thought I'd share what I am baking. I usually will bake in bulk and then keep it throughout the week. So this recipe here I got from Fab Lunch online. It's really simple oat cookies. There's raisins in there, a little bit of sweetener. What I usually do in cookie recipes or even cakes, I'll reduce the amount of sugar. And I love recipes that are really easy to make. And of course with cookies, it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes in the oven. And it's always nice to have a cookie or a slice of cake with some tea during the day. So we have the main meal here during the middle of the day at around midday or one o'clock. And again, this is much better for digestion. And with things like vegetables, it's great to chop them beforehand, keep them in the fridge, so it just makes life a little bit easier. I'm gonna roast these veg. And I got a recipe from the Happy Pear, some spicy and sticky tofu. I don't make the tofu here from scratch. And I think when you're living a low waste lifestyle, there are compromises that I just choose to make anyway. So tofu is one of them. And this is kind of like a Buddha bowl of sorts. Fry up the tofu and then you add in the marinade and it's spicy and it's sticky. And it's just a nice change up from having the one pot meals, which I just like to change it up. Whereas this is you kind of add little bits together. So we have kale and spinach growing in the polytunnel all year round. So 
I just like to always get every day the dark green vegetables into my diet. And while I was chopping the kale, look who came to say hello. If you follow me over on Instagram, you've probably seen Wildcat before. You all have the most gorgeous names for him or her. We haven't really seen what she is at the moment, but at the moment she's a she in my eyes. And so when I'm dishing it all out, I just make a little bit of basmati rice. Basmati rice is easier to digest, but if you want to up your fiber, you can have some brown rice, but I have tons of fiber in my diet. And with the kale, I just soaked a little bit of lemon juice on it, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. It's a really simple dish. You could probably add a little bit of a squeeze of lime juice. And then my parents were over for lunch. So it's tasty and simple. So at about between three and four, I'll have a little snack if I'm at home. And this is the cookies and then some turmeric tea. I've shared this many times. I'm just loving it at the moment. It's warming. You can add some cinnamon in there as well. And turmeric is a great spice because it's anti-inflammatory. So next is what we call over in Ireland tea time, which is between six and seven. And I had some leftover basmati rice from dinner time. So I found a recipe online with some cooked rice, add a little bit of milk of choice. I used some almond milk, some sweetener, and it was using an egg. So I just changed it up for a flax egg. And I don't always feel like savoury in the evening time and there's no harm in having a little bit of sweetness. Again, you can reduce the amount of sugar in recipes. So this is the first time cooking this one and was really lovely. And then the leftovers I'll store in the fridge to have as a lovely cold sweet rice in the morning. And then you can add more, a bit of fruit, some nuts and seeds. So in general, I don't eat after seven o'clock in the evening. Again, you're just slowing everything down, getting ready for sleep. And your body doesn't need as much energy in the evening time. So I'll have maybe some tea and some fruit. So I'd love to know down below any ideas you have of recipes, how your diet has slightly changed in the winter time at the moment. So chat below or over on Instagram and thanks for watching this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.